Is your Tesla smelling a bit or have you had it for a while? Or you just want to change up the scent of the car? Well, today we'll be exploring these air fresheners that our friends at Arkosh have sent us. Now, I'm super excited to try these as they're supposed to be very blendable and go very well with the interiors of a Model 3 or a Model Y. Now, if you're anything like me, I'm sure you've tried various different air fresheners from the iconic tree air fresheners to the jelly bean ones. Well, as much as I love the smell, they're a bit in your face. Sometimes the scent is very overpowering, but most of all, it sometimes feels odd and out of place with the minimalist looks of the interiors of a Model 3 or a Model Y. So let's check out and unbox how these ones look. Now, these guys have sent us three fragrances. We've got the Dreamy Canterbury Belts, the F Lotus, I think that's how it's pronounced, and the Ice Valley. Now, I'm super excited to try these out and uh, let's see which one smells the best to me. And then we'll do a test with uh, Drew as well in this video and see which one he prefers. So let's go to unboxing these and see how these look and how they compare with each other. All right, so this is the box that the Arkosh Air Freshener comes in. It says, a road trip, a life partner. Well, wow, that's fantastic. If you turn it around, it's a car perfume, which is great. It comes with some detailed instructions. Um, and the flavor or the fragrance we are using today is the Ice Valley. So let's unbox this and see what's actually in the box. Oh, actually it does tell you in the packages, it includes an air freshener holder, uh, aromatherapy stick, and four aromatherapy fragrances with the natural Ice Valley. All right, I'm gonna carefully open this. Wow, this is beautiful. Well, this is the actual air freshener went. This is what's going to sit on the air vents. We also have the four perfumes. Each of the actual fragrance sticks are covered in one. So when you need to use one, uh, you just need to open and peel one and you're good to go. This beautiful stick is actually the air freshener holder. It's got a metallic finish and the air freshener stick goes in this end. Let's check out the air freshener stick and see our first thoughts and how it smells and what it feels like. Now we're going to be trying the Ice Valley scent. So let's see, so it's got an easy open. All right, let's see how it smells. Oh, interesting smell. Let's see what the texture feels like of this. Oh, it looks like a highlighter stick. It's not as jelly like a highlighter stick, but it is quite bendable. Yeah, that's basically the stick. This should last us about four to six weeks. And let's open one end of it and see if it actually fits because Oh, it does. It's it, it's a decent size fit. It's not tight, but it's not very loose. So it's not going to keep moving around and shifting. Um, and let's just close this end. Cool. So there you go. Now, when you feel like you need to replace the sticks as the fragrances run out, usually typically around four to six weeks, all you need to do is open both ends and just pop it out and replace the sticks. Now, you might be wondering where these beauties actually go. Now, these are sleek enough to actually just put them on the gap by the air vents, making sure the actual little vents that are on the air freshener are facing outwards towards you so the air flows from one direction to the other. Just place it by the gap, adjust the air vent direction, and it's as easy as that. It's sleek, it's minimalist, and it's easy to install. All right, let's open the rest of the two and so we can compare them. Let's go. All right, here are the three fragrances. Let's open them all up and uh, compare with each other and see which one I like the most before we put them into the fragrance holders. All right, so we start off with the Ice Valley. Now, Ice Valley has a very refreshing scent, I think. Uh, it's got it's it's got a musky, cedary undertone. So it's a cedar, musk, maybe not flowers, not fruits. It's very calming, I would say. It's a very nice smell. I quite like it. I, I don't know, maybe it has a bit of a citrusy scent. We'll have to check what the manufacturers say what it's got, but that's what I think. I think that's where it's at. It's very calming and it, it, I quite like the scent. All right, let's move on to the next one. So the, this, I would say, is more cedar and musk, refreshing smelling. Um, the next one I'm going to test out is the Dreamy Canterbury Bells. Hopefully this is sweet. It looks very dreamy. So, oh, it smells very dreamy. I quite like this. Oh, I think I have a new favorite. It's better than the Ice Valley, I, to me at least. It's very fruity. It's very peachy. Um, I feel like it's flowery, peachy, more um, sweeter notes as well. Um, maybe lilies, lavender. Peaches, so yeah, very fruity, very flowery. I think that I think this is by far my favorite at the moment between the two. And the last one we've got is Apollatus. Now let's see what this one smells like. 
Oh, okay. This is by far the most subtle of the three scents. It's, it's got a very light undertone of musk, maybe a bit of lemon. Um, yeah, it's very light of the three. I think guys would prefer this a lot more um, than females. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe some females might like this more, but for me, I think this is very light. Um, I'm not sure how this would compare once we put this in, in the air freshener holder and, and the actual um, air cons are on, um, but let's we'll, we'll test that out. Um, I think of the three, I definitely prefer the dreamy Canterbury Bells a lot more because I prefer much sweeter um, undertones, flower, not flowery, but very fruity undertones. And that's exactly what the dreamy Canterbury Bells are. Um, I have a feeling Drew might like the Aphelatus or the Ice Valley. I don't think his choice might be dreamy, but let's find out which one he likes and prefers. Do a blind test with him. Let's get him on. All right. Hi, Drew, are you ready? Yes. Okay, cool. I'm excited. What, what do we have today? We've got these amazing air fresheners. You know how I always complain that there's stuff hanging and the air fresheners yes. are crazy or yep. they're too overpowering? Well, our coach have sent us these beautiful, sleek air fresheners. Um, I'm going, there's three fragrances. Okay. I've had this smell and I know my favorite. I'm okay. going to give you one each at a time. All right. right. I want you to tell us what you're smelling and what you're feeling. Okay. Right. And then we'll do a comparison. All right. Cool. All right. So I will start off with my favorite one. This is my favorite one. Okay. What do you smell? It's very sweet. It's like fruity, fresh, you know, like kind of being on the beach. Okay. That's what it smells like. Do you like it? Yeah, no, it's good. It's refreshing. It might be a little too strong for my taste, but okay. I like the smell though. All right, I will put this in. You guys know what this one is. All right, the next one, you ready? Yes. Okay, let's try this one. What do you smell in this? Mm, it's a... Uh, a lot more subtle than that one. Okay. It's kind of got an earthy feel. Okay. It's it's like, you know, when you go into the spa centers and you get like a relaxing, calming, earthy feel, more natural, definitely not fruity or flowery. Okay. Um, yeah. Good. Well done. Do you like this one more than the first one? It's more subtle, but I found the other one more refreshing. Okay. So if you had to choose between the two? Probably the first one. Okay. The first one. All right. Now this is the last one. Okay. Tell me what you feel in this. This one I can't really make out. Okay, interesting. Do you like it's, this? It's got, it is a bit of a flowery smell, but it's not like fresh flowers. It's, I don't even know how to describe this one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it though? Yeah, it's good. It's, it's, what does it it's, remind it's, you it's, of? It's probably the most subtle. Okay. Most subtle out of the lot. Definitely quite subtle. It's kind of like being walking through like a fresh flower farm, but I can't pick up what flower it is. Interesting. Okay, do you, do you, which one do you prefer out of the one, two, and three? Hmm. Tough question. Yeah, so this was the one, this was the two, this was the three. I might have to see and check it out in the air freshener as well, but I think I definitely like the first one the best. The first one. Okay, do you want me to tell you which ones they are or do you want to do the blind test with the air, air cons as well? Let's continue with the blind test. Okay. Let, let's check them in the air freshener because okay. it might change. All right, let's turn the air con on. And the one that you like the most, number one, is what I'm going to put here. Okay, it's right in front of you. Okay. Uh, we there we go. Bump and up the fan speed a bit. Yep. I'm so surprised. All right. I get that definitely that the same sweet smell. Okay. The fragrance coming through. Is it lighter than it was before? It is. It is. And I quite like it because it's not as strong as the air fresheners that we normally used to hang on yep. the um, rear view mirror. Is this going to be overpowering for you? No, I, th I think it's fine. I actually think it's fine. It's like a very subtle, nice, kind of a constant airflow. So it's not like hitting you in the face, even though the wind is pointed straight yeah. at me. Yeah, definitely. I think so too. I think it's subtle and toned down the flavoring and the fragrance of it. And I would say flavoring because I almost feel like if the fragrance is like nice enough and strong enough, you can feel it at the back of your palate. So yep, definitely. Yep. You can pass that one back. I'll give you the next one. I think what I quite like about this is it's like nice and sleek, even yes. though yes, I, it's not fully seamless in there. When I can tell that there's something there, but it fits so nice with the interior. That's what I quite like about it. It's not in your face and it's not feeling out of place. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Perfect. So these are very sleek. I love these. These are cool. so cute. Next All right, one. Next fragrance. All right. Let's give you this one. Can you put that back? All right, I want to hear your thoughts first and then I'm going to tell you mine. Yeah, same thing. I feel like I'm walking through a nice fresh flower farm. Do you like this one more than the... I think I still like the other one more than this. Okay, interesting you said that because 
I, um, this was, I liked this one, but while it was in the packet, it felt a lot more subtle. I almost feel like once I've put it on the aircon, I smell it a lot more. And it does have a sweeter undertone. So okay. we'll come back to this one. Well, you're definitely more sensitive to fragrances and yes. smells than I am. Oh. So you can probably be a better judge of this, but All I right. quite like that too. So this is the last one. So I'll tell you what, what this one was that I, why I'm surprised about. Oh, this one on the winds, it's probably, I feel like to me at least, it's the strongest out of the lot. And once again, it's, it's, it's giving me that feeling of being in, you know, a meditation center, kind of like calming, through, calming earthy feelings. Okay. Well done. Which one do you like the most of the three? This one? I actually, so on the winds, I actually like this one the most. Okay, so Once again, it's, it's calming one. my brain. It's like, yep, I'm going into a wellness center, <laughs> getting a nice rehab. <laughs> wow, rehab. Um, okay, so you're going with this one? Yeah, I'll go with this Overall, one. that's your favorite? Yep. Okay, we'll tell you which one it is. Now, the one that Drew's liked on the air winds the most is actually Ice Valley. So, there you go guys it was wonderful that was fun i know right this is so <laughs> great now if you guys won the rankings we'll put it up between me and drew and then you can decide which ones you like more so number one for me is this one the dreamy canterbury bells number one for drew is the ice valley and number three for drew is i think the alfatas and this is number two for me yes so these are the three fragrances. Well, today we were checking out the Arcoach Air Freshness and these little beauties are amazing. I absolutely love them. So thank you so much, Arcoach, for sending these out to us. And we checked out all three of their fragrances. And of course, my favorite, the Dreamy Canterbury Bells. Love this fragrance. So if you're super excited to check these out and would like to get one, check the description below for the links on how to get these and a discount code as well. Now, Drew's already told you guys his favorite one, but I want to know what you guys like. So make sure to comment below and let us know which ones you prefer. Until next time, stay charged.